Ladies and gentlemen, first of all, happy DLC day. Today I'll be covering the Cayo Parico DLC, starting off with the submarine. Of course, I will also be doing the heist in a future video, so be sure to subscribe if you want to stay in the loop. Now for real, this is one of the most amazing vehicles that I've seen so far, and I was not expecting any of these features at all. Now, let us just dive right into this huge iron sausage. Now in order to start the El Rubio heist and in order to buy the submarine, you need to talk to this guy in the music locker first. The music locker entrance can be found at the side of the Diamond Casino and Resort. After a short introduction, you are now able to buy the Kosatka submarine at Wastok for the base price of 2.2 million. Just like with every other buyable property, you can customize a number of things like the colors, the flags, you can add a sonar system for 1.2 2 million, guided missiles for 1.9 million, a weapon workshop for 355,000 and a moon pool for two moon pool vehicles. We'll be going over what each and every one of these things are very soon. Now if you want to max everything out in this baby, you gotta cough up a little over 9 million dollars, but you can actually skip the weapon workshop and the moon pool vehicles and for 5 million you'll have the submarine operational with firepower beyond belief. Anyway, before we can enter the sausage, we have to call the sausage through the interaction menu. Once it appears on the map, you can make your way over and by all the gods, old and new, it will majestically fly out of the water like a beautiful 50 megaton mermaid. Once you are done struggling to mount the sausage mermaid, you can enter it through a variety of different entry points. Now before we look at the features, let's go on a quick tour. Ladies and gentlemen, this sausage is quite big. In the center of the sub you have your planning room, sonar, missile station and the control station. Of course there is also the sleeping quarters, a mini pantry with a severe lack of sprunk and an overwhelming amount of E. cola. You can even get it for free, but whoever gets a free E. cola on my ship will be keelhauled under the submarine. All the way in the back is the moon pool where your sparrow or mini sub will be stored away. There is also scuba gear if you want to exit the sub from underneath the vessel. Besides that, there is a lot of empty space like an engine room, many corridors, a crew sleeping quarters, which is not really needed because there's only one crazy Russian aboard helping you out, but hey, just in case. Anyway, now we are diving into the juicy, juicy command center. Ladies and gentlemen, prepare to be blown away. First of all, the periscope. Once you've taken a quick peep -see through the periscope, you can also lock onto vehicles and launch missiles at the poor bastards coming too close. But besides that, you can also target enemy submarines. Yes, your submarine is destructible. If one of the other sausages destroy your sausage, you can call it in again free of charge through the interaction menu. Man, if Morse Mutual isn't going to be bankrupt by the end of 2021, I will eat my own socks. The lock-on doesn't seem to be too great. It's kind of on par with the old school laser rockets, so they are definitely dodgeable in faster vehicles. Anyway, the other console launches your intercontinental nuclear ballistic missile, and with that I mean it launches a controllable rocket. Now this thing is really awesome, but I can imagine it could also become a pain in the butt for people wandering about in Los Santos. There are two consoles available to launch missiles from. After you shot a missile and it gets destroyed, there is a one minute cooldown to launch the next missile, but you are totally free to alternate between the consoles for a constant flow of rockets if you so well please. The rockets fly insanely quick and I managed to catch up with the Mark II oppressor in a helicopter so far. The range is not unlimited though. I shot a rocket just east from LSIA and I managed to get the rocket just over halfway across the city. Now lastly worth mentioning, ladies and gentlemen, this glorious submarine can actually be controlled. You can either move it across the map like the yacht for $10,000 to various set locations, but after that you can fully take control of the sub yourself to move it around freely. You can submerge it, you can make it go up and down, it's so freaking cool, I was not expecting that at all. But God Damn, you have an enormous war machine at your disposal. Now lastly, of course, in the center of the submarine is your planning board to start the actual heist. But we'll be doing the heist in a separate video. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to see more, drop a like, subscribe, all that jazz. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.